It's always just an extension of a really fun day. That's usually what leads to a photograph or a good adventure. And yeah, it's, I guess it's different than like if you are a painter or a writer, you would need to spend a lot of really dedicated solitary time to improve your craft. And there's an aspect of that in photography. I spend a lot of time on the computer, more than I would like to, and a lot of time learning and perfecting the skills. But the actual like magic and inspiration comes from these moments, these beautiful life moments, um, where you meet the right person, or you go to a beautiful place, and you talk to a stranger and some magic thing lines up and then in that day a photograph is that visual representation of how everything lined up perfectly. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
I've also always believed that an artist's masterwork, the biggest, best thing you can create is your life itself. And that's always happening. It's the thoughts that you have, it's the way you drink your tea, it's what you write in your secret journal that no one's ever going to read. Um, even those things, I think, are very important to craft really deliberately. And I think you can live your life like a fairy tale. There's no reason not to. <laughs> you can fill your life with the adventures that you read in books or you watch in movies. Why not have those love stories happen in your very own life that you're creating. <laughs>